Hello everybody, I hope you are all well. Um, as you can tell, I'm in my car. Um, I have just driven back from Latitude. When we mean just, I mean I arrived back here literally about 10 minutes ago. I wanted to film a video talking about what I take to festivals. I wanted to film this video for ages. I filmed one last year, but I think things have kind of changed. This summer I'm doing nine festivals and this is the 15th festival that I've ever done. Because I'm gonna go through all the stuff that I took with me because it's still in my car. There is no alcohol in this video because I was a I was working at Latitude. So I went to Latitude as a intern for Festival Republic as part of their photo team and it was bloody fun, I tell you, I had so much fun. The first thing you should take with you is some form of roll mat. Now this is a yoga mat from Amazon. Um, it's from the brand JLL. I would personally recommend buying yourself a really solid blood mattress, which is what Andy and I did last year at Reading. Now recently I've been taking pillows to festivals because I used to just, I just used to roll up clothes and I've gotten to the point that actually it's too painful. I'd always recommend taking some reusable bags because you don't know when you're going to need these. Always take some headphones because campers around you can often be quite loud. I also can get quite anxious sometimes and just putting music on, like escaping when you're like in the campsite is, can, can be quite nice. Um, if you're friends with Andrew Yates, he snores. So this is the Peter Storm Zip Up Black Fleece. Um, they're just really good because they're lightweight and because they zip you can be like half hot half cold um i have this little makeup toiletry bag which is something that i only recently found and have started using but in it i have a little um shower gel i don't usually shower at festivals this video is going to sound so unhygienic and i'm so sorry it's just festival life you know no one no one cares because everyone's the same um, and then in here also i really recommend this is probably more girl related maybe guys but pant liners are your freaking best friend at a festival also in here i have my toothbrush and my toothpaste also in here i have my makeup bag i'm not going to go what through what's in it um in here i have a denim jacket too there's quite a lot of coat options in this video because i just threw everything in my car um but if you're don't if you don't have the option of throwing everything in your car and being close to your car obviously maybe whittle down the coat options i have a denim jacket this i would always say is handy this one's from bershka um in here also i have this lovely yellow raincoat i'd probably say this or the denim jacket. If it's due to rain, I would say take this over the denim jacket. And then if it's not meant to rain, take a denim jacket and a poncho. Um, in here, I also have a plastic bottle. Now, festivals at the moment are being really hot on like reusing and recycling, which is great because it's such a big problem. Um, speaking of the same reusing, recycle, I have a plastic cup. This is one from the Green Door store. In here also I have a funky lanyard because I was a funky cool employee. Obviously again, because I was working, I was getting free food and the food was great. I generally take a load of noodle pots because I think they're great. I'll leave the other video that I did link below because that talks more about food. Make sure you take your purse and make sure you take your ID because they're pretty two pretty crucial elements of actually being able to buy anything while you're there. I think that's everything in this bag as you can see this summer i'm basically living out of my car it's not easy um i don't feel like i'm i feel like i'm like coming and going every single second of the day i really want van gogh to sponsor me i'm genuinely gonna send them an email this afternoon um because i think that their company is great and i have owned so much van gogh stuff that i just think that it would be a great collaboration but anyway this is a tent not sponsored this is a tent from van gogh it's the van gogh sigma 300 it's blue it's a great color blue it's just a great tent um, it keeps you dry, it keeps keep, keeps you warm, and it's a nice colour. Following, I have a towel. Probably should have featured this earlier on in the video, but yeah, I have a towel. This is a body one. Um, I got it off Amazon. Okay. I'm really excited to edit this video, because you know, it's just going to be an absolute state. Bring a keep cup with you because you're going to save more plastic by doing this and it just means that you can use it for pre-drinks and you can use it for your coffee in the morning if you have coffee use it for your tea it's so easy to save the planet in little ways like that that it makes me really annoyed when people are really obnoxious about it so okay another another van gogh purchase this is a sleeping bag you don't think it's going to be cold but like i can promise you it will be cold in the evening when you go to bed okay and the final rucksack so I used to always take one of the massive 70 litre rucksacks with me, like the huge ones. And I've recently realised I just think they're a bit, just a bit ridiculous and just a bit too big. Like, I don't need that much stuff. So this is a Berghaus rucksack. 
It was also from Amazon, about five years or so now. In the side pocket, it has my Chili's bottle. Um, not sponsored, wish it was. Chili's bottles are great. In this pocket, I have my packer mac that I was saying. It packs up really small, so if you're not expecting rain, just take it with you because you just don't know. The thing that I've realized for going to festivals, the best way to pack your clothing is by actually planning every single outfit for every single day. I always used to wonder how people took so little clothing to festivals. I've realized it's because people actually plan what they're wearing every single day rather than me who just throws like 400 different pieces of clothing into a bag. So, First things first, in the bag, we have a spare pair of shoes. Always crucial. Currently on my feet, I have some docks. And you see, a pair of docks are great. If you're going to a festival, you want comfy walking shoes because I'm telling you, you walk a lot of These I've got with me, but I wouldn't wear, just wear, just take Converse because the soles are really, really thin. Girls as well, also always take sanitary products. Or guys, just basically always take sanitary products with you as well as toilet roll. I've just found this. This is a headband. Now, I probably should have worn this because it would have saved my hair. This bag's quite nice because it opens pretty flat. Um, but basically, in here, I have, I'm not going to go through all my clothes because I think that's a bit stupid just take a selection of stuff um the things for girls anyway the things that work best at festivals are things like jump dresses jumpsuits and play suits even though you have to like pull them all the way down to go to the toilet you don't have to go to the toilet that often unless you're drinking like extortionate amounts wait so always take with you some pajamas particularly pajama bottoms that I'm currently wearing some these are from m and s um, and then always take like a nice jumper with you because you can never have enough jumpers with me I brought three that's another thing if you take a bum bag with you um, if you're like just going as a punter, they're great to put all your stuff in. And then it all fits in there so easily. This stuff all lasted me from Thursday till Monday. These are the least eco-friendly thing I've said of everything in this video, which is kind of like sad. I'm gonna try and like see if I can source like a, a more eco-friendly version of a baby wipe. At a festival, if you're not showering, obviously I didn't know if I mentioned, but like you need your general toiletries like deodorant and shower, deodorant and your smellies because you know, you, you're gonna not shower. If you're not going to be showering you need a baby wipe to baby wipe yourself down with but they are so bad for the environment instead what you can also do is just take your your face wipe face wash that you do you use anyway and then just go to the water point and then just wash your face in addition to things that you should not forget this is a portable battery power pack this is from anchor I've had this for five years now. It got soaked in the rain at truck last year. It's still surviving. Always recommend a charger and I always recommend obviously taking a USB thingy. Um, maybe take more than one. Oh, another thing, you're always gonna need more socks than you think because if your feet get wet, you're gonna wanna change your socks. Potentially also take some flip flops because they're quite good for going around the camping. I used to take Crocs, but my brother stole them mine. Also always remember your hairbands and your um, bobby pins and stuff. Um, remember your sun cream. The reason I didn't put this in is because I don't know why I put mine. But yeah, bring your sun cream and bring your aloe vera and maybe bring some vitamin C tablets. I have them as a three in like a pink bag, which I think just must be somewhere in the car. I was also going to say, bring some earplugs. I've been looking after my hearing for like a year because I was going to so many gigs that, and shooting in pits that I was so close to speakers that my ears began to just ring and ring and ring. I don't, if This might not be a problem for some people. Some people may have an issue with it. I'll leave the earplugs that I use down below. They're from Fender, um, the guitar company. What I like about those earplugs is they're not the foam ones, so they don't mute the noise. They just bring everything down a level so I can still hear everything. That's everything. That's everything I wrote on my list and I've shown you everything that I think you get an ever need for a festival um I will speak to you all soon I hope you're all well I'm actually so tired like I can't explain I hope you enjoyed this I'm sorry if it like made no sense at all but I I think it was okay I think um yeah hit me up if you have any questions rock and roll mother frickers <laughs> and I will see you guys soon bye guys